hi guys and welcome to my channel welcome to my channel so I just got my visa no not today I got like one week ago my visa my Schengen visa and I am going to visit my boyfriend so pack with me this is my first time in Europe and I'm going to Croatia Croatia here I am coming here I'm coming if anybody uh, who is staying in Croatia from Kenya please please uh, hit me up let's be friends I only have like 26 days there because I'm just going for vacation and then I'm gonna come back then in Shalar maybe we're gonna I'm gonna relocate there next year but for now we are going I'm so excited that I got my visa actually um, yeah so I'm packing and it's cold because me I was still like the weather is getting better so it's cold but I want to buy I want to wear a bikini I want to go to the beach like Croatia has really beautiful I've been really checking a lot about Croatia and has a lot of beautiful beautiful beaches I want to go there but because it's raining um, my boyfriend was telling me like you know we cannot go to the beach so I'm just gonna be carrying heavy clothes but heavy clothes will make my bag to be heavy because I book Qatar Airways and it's only 25 kg allowance and carry on 7 kgs but anywho let's see so pack with me guys this is my bag Guys, it's like I want to carry everything, <laughs> but then I'm remembering, oh, it's cold, so I should carry more trousers. But I'm thinking of wearing this at the airport. It's really hot, actually. I bought this on AliExpress, and oh, it's really good. It's a jumpsuit, and then I'm gonna wear with a jacket. I think this will be my outfit for the airport, but I also have like another. That I was thinking of but let's see first how it's gonna go so guys I actually took a nap I was super tired and I couldn't continue to do a video but now I am done I actually pack everything I did my hair but it's still like I don't know what I'm gonna do now the thing is I I think like my bags will be extra luggage I don't know I have my flatmate has uh, the weight thing to measure the weight but she's not around so I don't know what to do um, I hope she's gonna come before I leave so that I can weigh because I don't wanna go there and get an embarrassment anyway I just wanted to show you guys my airport outfit I think I already showed you uh, let me just put it on and then I'm gonna wear this jacket. It actually rained. I don't know why it rained. I'm gonna wear this jacket. This is for my cousin Avido. He makes this jacket. Be sure to check him on Instagram. We and this is heavy. And you know what's worrying me is that I haven't put uh, my lights and. Uh, my my lights because I'm gonna carry my lights and my tripod. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. That's the thing. Like it's worrying me now. But meanwhile, I am done packing, so I'm just gonna put on my outfit. Yeah, this is this is my fit. I think when I go back, it's much better. 
I don't like it. <laughs> I really love this. This. Ah, I forgot the name. Oof. I love it. And the way it's showing my butt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna put on this jacket. It's actually, this thing is actually real hot. My jacket. And I got this bag from Shane. Shane Gummy. Shane. I think I'm gonna put it inside and then I'm gonna wear this jacket. Yeah. I'm gonna put that link. Then my bag. I also got it from Shane. It's actually heavy. I just hope they're not gonna measure this one. Oh fucking hell, my computer. Whee! I don't know. This is my computer and the accessories, charges, whatever. And I don't know where I'm gonna put it. And then guys, this is, these are my shoes. But they look so crusty, I don't know. Maybe I should wipe them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I arrived at the airport and actually I arrived earlier. I wanted to check in earlier. That's why I went to the airport in advance. But they, I think I arrived 12 30 and they were like, oh, we're checking from 1 30. So I was like, oh, okay. I didn't have anything to do. So I just started uh, checking around and then they checked us in. And I went straight to the lounge. I really wanted to go to the lounge. And guess what? When I reached the lounge, it was already late. Like, they were not serving alcohol anymore. And I was like, no way. This cannot be. I wanted to drink something. I wanted to eat. And the food that you just saw me eating, it was really bad. I didn't eat at home because I knew I'm coming to eat at the lounge. But the food was not giving. Anyway, that's me admiring myself in the lounge. I took some pictures, videos, and sat and waited for my flight. My flight was 4 a.m. So by 3 a.m. you should check in. And that's the how the airport is at the lounge. And then you know, I really love like I have uh, an advantage of being in the lounge. And there you can like you know be checking your flight so that you don't forget. arrived at Doha International Airport. Well, this airport is incredible. I really wanted to see this tropical garden actually because I have never seen it but I've seen some videos and pictures of it and it was like here. Yeah. I think Singapore Airport is the first and then this uh, Hamad International Airport. It's really incredible. I took a bunch of pictures videos here but then when I was checking out the pictures none was even making sense. <laughs> And the way I wasted my time, like I really took a while here at the garden, like almost one hour, one hour, thirty minutes, trying to take a video and picture, walking around. I was so tired. By the time I was going to my flight, which was, I think from Bahrain to Qatar, it was like thirty minutes, by the way. And then my next flight was supposed to be nine, and the check-in is from eight a.m. So you see, I had like three hours around. So I really walked around here at the garden. It's called the Tropical Garden. I really walked around. I, I yo, in Qatar, 
in the airport there's so many black people from my country from kenya you know there's so many people working there i was so happy to see them and i really stayed then i went to the lounge i took some breakfast but the breakfast was not even giving at all i was just happy and then this is us boarding now going to croatia from here today it's like six hours from qatar it was six hours to croatia actually i think i slept like the whole flight i was super tired because i really walked around the airport so i was really tired at the time i was in the plane i was tired then i just slept off okay here i'm just waking up now <laughs> and i realized i didn't even eat but i think my stomach was bloated because the plane was so full and i was sitting like in the middle i couldn't even eat that's why i just slept off and here we are we arrived in Croatia, it's just Croatia, and you know, I was just saying it's gonna be so cold, but at least I had my jacket on. Yeah, so when I arrived, I realized it was raining also in the world country of Zagreb. I'm actually super excited, like, I'm really excited to be here. I was waiting for my bag here, and the airport is, is actually small, but I like how everything was like in control and order. And this is how it was raining but doesn't it look beautiful like the weather the air everything was just so fresh and then my boyfriend was here to pick me up and then we went home so just check for my next episode of some parts here The air here looks fresh, babe. The air is fresh. Uh. Don't start. We're just gonna be going for the highway. We don't want to be sitting up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sitting down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 